Hey guys, so if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the red button below. Say subscribe, you cannot miss it. And here we go once again with the liberals, democrats, and their awesome dancing. <laughs> so yeah, that's how... It works. I called it the pandering dance and the pantsuits pants. <laughs> it's so freaking annoying. And I don't know how people don't find this offensive. This is more proof that liberals and Democrats think for some reason that our biggest priority is to be entertained. Like, just stop it. Stop it. Like, nobody else does this. Why is this a thing? And then I'm still not understanding what people do not understand about the illegal immigration issues. This woman wants to give uh, illegal immigrants, undocumented people, driver's licenses, okay? And not only does she want to do that, she wants to implement it immediately when she gets into office. I do not understand how people do not understand cause and effect. New York is going to turn into another California where California is in debt. The taxes are uh, tremendously high. It's almost impossible to live there. They're pushing out the middle class. And why don't people look at these things for comparison, why don't people look at these things and say, hmm, maybe what she's saying sounds good, it sounds appealing, but let me see how this could affect other things. So imagine this, right? Imagine this. All your life, ever since you were a little child, you had this dream college that you want to go to, right? Finally, you know, you're old enough, you're going into college. Going into college, you have to do an application, a freaking essay of 50 reasons why, you know, you would be a good selection for this college. You have to pay application fees. You have to take out loans. You sign up for scholarships. You have to give your parents to give you some money. All these freaking avenues you have to go through. You go through the process of signing up for classes, orientation. Yeah. One week into class, we have a local joker that just comes, sits in the back of the class and just props his feet up like, yeah. What's up? What we learning today? Like, I want to learn this too. I think I deserve to be here. You know what I mean? I deserve an education just as much as you. Now, this person hasn't been through any of the processes you have been through to get here. But here he is propping his feet, feet up. Then comes midterm. Teacher knows he's not supposed to be there. And the teacher says, hey, I'm going to give you this midterm test and I'll give you whatever grades you make. Now, how, how is that not a slap in the face to you that worked over and beyond to be where you are? You deserve to be there. And then somebody walks right in the back door and gets the same access, the same privileges as you. Like, that is their right. And so, now she wants to give immigrants, illegal immigrants, driver's licenses. So, you're not thinking about how... Uh, with driver licenses, you can vote, how this can swing future elections. People never think about the cause and effect. They just think about, oh, that sounds nice. That sounds good. But then you literally have California over there struggling and you have people moving out in the droves because they can't afford to live there. And, okay, you also have her trying to decriminalize marijuana um, and basically basically like reform um, the justice, justice system as it deals with marijuana charges completely and a hundred percent for that and she's talking about the money and the revenue that'll come into new york because of it absolutely billions hopefully trillions of dollars because you're gonna need it for the influx of immigrants that are gonna be coming into the area and people never understand it hurts poor people the most um not to even mention that a lot of areas in new york that used to be all black are completely being gentrified so you are gonna end up having a lot of people that are gonna be pushed 
out. So people will use this one thing to not look at all the other things are that, that are going to happen. We really have to look at the cause and affect the things. Look at models of people who have tried this and it has not worked. It has not worked significantly. It has particularly hurt urban um, areas and lower income communities. But for some reason, we don't look at the pros and cons. We don't look at where this money is coming from. And then we turn around and let them dance with us and pander to us. Um, let me know what you guys think, particularly that the dancing is so freaking cringy. Like, that's so cringy to me. Like, the pandering is off the freaking Richter scale. And how people don't, like, are not dis like, ugh disgusted by that you know what I mean I just I don't understand but anyway leave your thoughts below what do you think about this if you are a New Yorker are you going to be voting for Cynthia Nixon this kind of extreme leftist thing seems to be all the new wave and so I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more of this I'm very interested to see how this is gonna go, how the voters are gonna respond to this. Um, but I think voters definitely need to be educated on the benefits, the pros and the cons. You gain one thing, but you lose others. Um, so yeah, leave your thoughts below. Don't forget to subscribe.